I will be doing some mark making on tissue paper, then making that tissue paper transparent so I can utilize these pages as inserts in my journals that will be transparent, as pockets if I want to sew them in, or a number of other things. So stay tuned to my channel to find out how I use the items that I'm going to be making. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. And each month I'm doing a prompt. This month is making paper, so for the next four Sundays we will be making paper out of whatever we have in our shop. I'm starting with some tissue paper. I watered down some black acrylic ink and I pulled out a big sloppy paintbrush and I am just intuitively marking. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just running that brush across these three pages. So I have some marks. Whoops, that one I tore. So I'm going to set that one aside. I'll probably use it for something else. I am going to let all of those dry and then bring them back to begin the waxing. So I've pulled down a sheet or pulled off a sheet of wax paper. I have my mark making on tissue paper. I'm going to give it one more hit with this blow dryer to make sure that that paint is all good and dry because I don't want wet paint or my wax paper will stick. I have this um, taper, this candle taper that had broken in half so it made its way over to the shop to be utilized in projects and a cheese grater or a grater, zester maybe, I'm not exactly sure what this is but I'm utilizing this to grate my candle wax over the top of this sheet and I hope you can see how that candle wax is falling. I'm being very careful to make sure that I have enough wax on the paper that it will spread evenly when I put the heat to it. I've heated up an iron without steam and I put another sheet of wax paper on top and I am just melting that wax with the iron and there it looks like I, the steam accidentally came on so I'm pushing that back off and I'm just spreading that wax with the heat. Now I'll pull off that wax paper. This is hot so be careful when you pull this up and look at how transparent that becomes. Just with a little candle wax and a grater. Let's do one more. We'll do it very quickly and then I'll show you all of the mark making that how they came out in the transparent look. So let's just grate that over the top being very careful to make sure that we have enough coverage to make that entire sheet transparent. Put the second piece back on. Now when you're utilizing this make sure when you pull that top sheet off that you know which is the top and which is the bottom because you do not want to mess up your iron by ironing on the side that has all that melted wax. So you know flip it over and and then just flip it back so you have the same same side always up that is clear of wax. I hope that makes sense. So now we have completed all of those that that we made in the mark making and I just did that random intuitive kind of mark making on each sheet and this is our end result. It's very very transparent. I'm putting it down on white hoping, hoping that will let you see it but let me grab something with a little color so you can see how that color shows through. Here is just a little darker darker color gel press print. I'm looking for different things I can show you through through the transparency. Here is that India Ink Resist book cover that we made. Well that's a composition book that I'm taking notes in now that I made some time ago. There is the India Ink. All of these are videos that are on my channel that I have done in previous prompts or videos throughout the years. And now let me just take the Sharpie. It looks like it's running out of ink but let me just write on this and show you how the writing shows up through that. 
So you can see how transparent, very transparent that becomes. And I think this makes great little pages. They're durable because of the wax, so you can fold them and make them a page insert. You can accordion them in so they are over another page and make that very interesting transparency. You can cut them in half and sew them as a pocket, a transparent pocket. There's just a lot of things that you can do. Sew them onto a tag. Um, because they're wax, they don't stick real well. Um, if you want to glue them in, that wax really doesn't take, take the glue that well. But there is a lot of other uses that you have for this type of paper within your mini projects. This is a book that I wanted to lay down here in these images so you could see the actual transparency once again of this mark making. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will come over and share what you do in my Facebook group and just hashtag it Coffee Cup Prompt and I would love to see you there. Here is the playlist. And I shall say bye for now.